You know, it's kind of hard to believe that it was six years ago this month that eight members of a Princess Anne family would go to bed at night and never wake up. Carbon monoxide poisoning from a generator that was being run inside the home stole the lives of Rodney Todd and his seven children. You know, it was a tragedy that hit Delmarva hard and one that's inspired a community to come together. And we'd like to welcome McCoy Curtis to the show today. McCoy, thank you so much for taking time for us. My pleasure to be here, thank you. Uh, just this week, uh, the Princess Anne community came together to break ground on the Todd Family Community Garden. Tell us what it is. Well, the Todd Family Community Garden is a memorial site, a living memorial, actually, is what we like to call it, because we wanted to convert uh, the site, actually, where they passed away into something beautiful and memorable to honor them. Uh, so it's going to be a community garden that's going to have raised bed, herb garden, flowers, um, all edible, um, and as well as a learning space. We want to take advantage of this opportunity to teach um, our kids and the community about growing about you know so it's also as a hands-on learning lab and and for those who may not be familiar with princess Anne, where is this site 30510 antioch avenue mm -hmm. is the corner of antioch avenue and beckford avenue so how's it looking for the completion of the project what, what's your timeline look like well as it stands right now we uh this is going to it's going to happen in phases so the first phase we're looking to hopefully have done by uh, mother's day weekend and that would be a great tribute to the mother and grandmothers of these children. And, uh, of course, it's going to be an ongoing project, so there will be continual phases and things added as we move forward. You had never met the Todd family. At the groundbreaking, you said, you don't have to know them to know how to love them. That's so true. Can you explain? As a father, as a parent um, of, of children, and as a servant to the community, um, again you don't have to know a person to know how to care about people right um you know, and being a father myself um and having children it, it just felt like something needed to be done in honor of this family and and to help them to be remembered forever do do you know how how mom is uh i i've spoken to mom once i've had opportunity to speak to mom once and she's doing better of course this is a long process and I, I don't want to speak for her right. in that regard but at the same time um, the, the process of grieving takes takes time so for all of the family that I've had an opportunity to get to meet through this I'm definitely learning that of course even though it's been six years for us it's been it feels like yesterday to many of them yeah yeah, yeah. and you know you, you mentioned you you did not know the family but as a father yourself, you have to assume that uh, he would have loved, that Mr. Todd would have loved this idea. And I'm hoping and I, I believe that they, they know. I believe that they are aware um, and looking down, smiling on this whole thing. Why does this mean so much to you? Why are you so passionate about this? Well, um, for a few reasons. One, I, I believe that, uh, again, I love working in the community. I've been doing it. I have a passion for it but also as, um, as a parent, as a, as a person in the community who's, who's a proponent for change, um, we want to do any and everything we can to help the kids to learn and turn this thing into something beautiful. Um, learning to take an ugly situation, learning to take tragedies and making the best out of it as, as, uh, as we possibly can. Um, so, but also again, uh, just a, another space to beautify um, in the community and community gardening just makes sense. Everything about it makes sense. It's working together, it's growing food, it's it's learning how to maintain a, in, a, in our society today. So everything about it just makes perfect sense. As Pastor Hutchinson has said, you're growing more than vegetables. You're growing more than just veggies, yes, <laughs> yeah, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Great friend of mine, my brother. Yeah. Absolutely. McCoy Curtis, thank you so much for making such a positive contribution to the community. We'll be right back.